tonight from Duncan on beautiful Vancouver Island. Please welcome author Pierre Burton, broadcaster Betty Kennedy, columnist Alan Fotheringham, and moderator Fred Davis. This is Front Page Challenge. And now, let's welcome our Front Page Challenge host, Fred Davis. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Front Page. Well, you can tell from that enthusiastic audience here in Duncan. I've already had a chance to talk with them earlier, so it was good of you to applaud again. I really appreciate that. Good of you to join us. And uh, while we're in such a positive mood, it's a real pleasure to welcome this gentleman back to the uh, guest panelist chair. He's been on with us before. You will know him from his contributions to The National. He's based in Vancouver with the CBC. Would you welcome Mr. Ian Hanamansing? Ian, I couldn't help but over here downstairs in the dressing room, you were chatting with Pierre, and in a kind of strange way, uh, you owe him a, a kind of debt of gratitude. You oh, I meant to mention him? this earlier, but uh, when I was a kid, my parents heard an interview or read an article where you apparently promised your kids that you'd buy them any book that they would read cover to cover. So That's my right. parents thought if it's good enough for Pierre Burton, it's good enough <laughs> for them. And so I owe a shelf full of books to you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> it's a good, uh, it's a so, very good concept to follow. Ones. See, you never Sense know. Sense of power is overcoming me. <laughs> exactly. Well, Ian, we're glad you could make it over from uh, Vancouver for this edition, and you'll be with us again, I understand. That's good news, too. Okay, down to work panel. After we tell everybody else in our theater and at home about our first story, here's the mystery headline. On January 3rd, 1989, British Columbia's worst oil spill began as morning tides washed the oil onto Vancouver Island's Long Beach. That black scum covered 250 miles of coastline. Our guest is Dave LeBlanc. <clears throat> All right, panel, we're leading off with a story that can properly be labeled international and national. There are implications from both those areas. Uh, two minutes, Pierre, would you lead off? Did this story take place outside, outdoors? Yes, it did. Was it a sports story? No. But it took place outdoors. Did it take place on this continent? Yes. In Canada? Partially. Partially in Canada and partially in the United States? Yes. Was there movement from one place to another? Yes. Yeah, the kind. Is there entertainment involved? No. Politics? Partially. Government involved. Government involved. Yeah. There's movement of one kind. Is movement through the air? No. No. Movement is on land? No. On water? Yes. So we're after a ship. Partially, yes. In, is it a happy story? No, it's not. No. Uh -huh. Sounds to me like the oil spill off Vancouver Island? Yes. Or, or that, Valdez? No, that's the one. The Vancouver one off Island. Vancouver Island. U.S. oil spill fouls In Pacific Rim beaches. December. Our, that's right. Dave LeBlanc is our guest. We were... We were making book that you might go for the Alaska story, but uh, we have an expert here. Uh, Dave is the oil, is an oil spill cleanup coordinator, so he can speak with some authority. We'll get him to do that after we take this time out. <laughs> 